Hi Virgo, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your um, Spring Equinox 2019 reading. So I'm using the Gilded Tarot. Um, I'm also using the Good Tarot. Can you see that? I know, my lighting always sucks. It's something you can always count on here. <laughs> And the Gilded Tarot. Alright. So I like to put all my little markers on here. Um, so. The Spring Equinox. Well, it's the... Um, the Spring Equinox and the Fall Equinox are both days where uh, the day is the same time as the night. Well, I know the Spring Equinox is for sure. Also, um, you know, the ground's getting softer, uh, the worms can come out, you start to see the robins. Uh, here in Canada, uh, we see the geese coming back from their migration. Animals are shedding their winter coats, so are we. Um, and also, it's a time to start thinking about what seeds you're going to plant, you know. And, you know, this is more than just actual seeds, your garden. Um, you got to start thinking about your garden as you the whole person and what seeds are you going to plant for this year you know to to get you through to next year what what are you going to plant to bring to harvest what are your goals achievements that you want to set into motion because we are in March we are in March which is you know not only spring but a three and three is setting into motion, you know. Um, so I'm going to cut those now that it did that. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oops. Hmm, what is that? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh -huh. I just kind of didn't want to go, you know. I'll take those out too. We'll have a look at them. So I'll put those over here. Let's turn them over and see what you got. My Virgos. You guys got 3,000 views. Thank you so much. I'm really glad that you got something out of that. Um, I like to hear the comments too. How people relate to it. And... Uh, <coughs> There we go. There's this one girl. I can't remember what her name is. Fire and Water or something like that. Oh, she's funny. <laughs> I laughed my head off listening to her. Just her per her little personality is so cute. <laughs> Matter of fact. Um, anyway, so let's go back to these here. Ha, look at that, Virgo. Nine of Cups was the one that jumped out. Okay. So, you know, in this one, he's very proud of himself. He's achieved this. You know, this is a time when he's sitting in the hall and he's looking at what he's been able to achieve and very uh, proud. He's not really sharing this moment. This is... um. You know, this is a self-recognition moment that I did it. I made, I made my dreams come true. I did it, you know. And also, he's looking up at his family banner. Kind of like, you know, his ancestors would probably be very proud of where he's been able to take the family name. You know, is what I'm, the feeling I'm getting here. Um, so anyway... There's the Nine of Cups. That's a really nice card as a jumper. Also, jumpers are usually time cards. So this is a nine, so it could be nine days, nine weeks, nine months. Um, so then you got the Queen of Pentacles, which is probably yourself, Virgo, you know. And she's uh, beating the drum. She's beating the drum. Um... It, 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 almost to make an announcement, to let everyone know, you know. Um, in this case, it could be that the baby's coming. Not that she's having one, but the family has an announcement to make, you know. 
That's what this card reminds me of. This is an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, um, Capricorn. And, uh, and also, um, there is the, you see the, um, this is like Taurus, and the music note is right in the chair that she's in. So music is strong in this message, in this family perhaps too, you know. Uh, something to do with music could be something to do specifically with the drum. The drum, um, um, I was saying there might be a birth in the family because the drum represents our heartbeat and then when the baby's in a mother's stomach it's the first sound it hears is that that beat you know and and so um that's <laughs> what the drum represents mother's heartbeat right so anyway and then you got the five of wands this is dispute this is um disagreements um Creative disagreements, creative uh, opposition. People don't like your ideas. You're, you're just, it doesn't seem like um, you can win any favor in this matter. But this Nine of Cups overshadows any of that. I think this is going to be a, a minor disagreement. You know, it's minor because you have the Queen of Pentacles here, right? She's making some sort of announcement. I think it's some sort of a family announcement. That's what I think is. Could be the family. You know, this is the kind of family you have. You have to settle everybody down. <laughs> settle down, y'all. I'll have to get the stick out. <laughs> because there's something. Uh, somebody being recognized. Some some sort of reward, recognition. Um, some some honor coming to the family name or something like that okay so virgo the first card so the here is the cards right i can just point that at the cards if you want and these cards here are your past this is your present and this is your future and um so I don't. I don't like doing that. I gotta look at you. I just have to. I'm. I connect that way. You know. I just do. I gotta feel like I'm talking to somebody. I guess. You know. Um, so the first card you got in your past is justice, and your past is is um, you know, now or before now, right? It could still be happening even up to the equinox, the twenty first. Um. So, and also don't forget, tomorrow night is the full moon. And that's the, they call it the worm moon, uh, the crow moon, the sap moon. Um, anyway, they're all um, ways to express the, the welcoming of spring, the, the rebirth, the earth coming back to life again, you know, renewal. So the first card in your past is justice. And, um... You know, this is um, this is some sort of fair decision. You know, you may have come to some sort of decision. Also, um, you know, it could be some sort of legal matter. You may be going through some sort of legal matter. Um, it could be separation. Or you could be signing legal documents, contracts in some way. Um... Well, the feather's there. It says you're on the right path. You could be seeking justice, too, in some matter. It could be a financial issue, you know, um, on how you've expanded your finances. So it could be seeking just, justice in that, what, you know, what you've been able to achieve, right? The, what you've been able to expand to. Um... And then there's the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups could be a water sign. Um, Scorpio. Cancer. Pisces. <laughs> 
and um, so this person um, is willing to you know she's out of her chair she's willing to make a commitment an emotional commitment this could be um, uh, uh, I don't know if it's a love interest it could be love interest it could be the person that you've made this investment with you know and you're seeking justice about what you've been able to how you've been able to expand yourself because here she is the princess and over here she's the queen you know she's the queen being being honored or celebrated or um Bring an honor to the family name or something like that. So this um, this also, you know, this is also honor too because the justice system does honor um, people as well who are able to expand, are able to do something um, with themselves. So, and um, this is, this could be the person who's honoring you, who is, um, has helped you expand. Um, also could be the person you're separating from, I'm not really sure. But it looks like they're trying to come back in. They're, um... They're trying to test the waters, you know. They're trying to come back in and offer you love. And they're testing the waters to see if this is a viable option, you know. Could be male or female, whoever that person is. Their heart's definitely in it. Um, but their sneakiness, eh? Like, see that snake in the background over here by the chair? There, there's some sort of sneakiness. Um, going on there something okay uh, the first card in your present is the ten of pentacles so the ten of pentacles you know is a ten you've made it you've 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 reached your goals a lot of the things that you've wanted to achieve for yourself right um, and this is to do with your stability and your security and your investments and so he's quite content sitting there he's got his family around he's able to provide for all these people and a dog you know but he also is bored. He wants something new to put his passion in. He wants to think bigger. Not like, not necessarily bigger, like, you know, make my factory twice as big. But what could I, what could I do with this now? Where could this product go? You know, um, it needs stimulation need stimulation to do this again I don't think this person is just um, uh, settled ready to just lay down once they've created uh, wealth or, or uh, comfort around them they they like to to manifest to um, to invest themselves in something you know that's you Virgo that's you wanting to invest yourself in something new you're bored right now you need you probably need a project you know um, um, because you know you that's the thing you you like to achieve you like to achieve and be proud of yourself but in the very center of your reading is Sir Nunos this is the devil this is something that's taking you from your path that you should be on taking you um it's it's some sort of temptation that you know it's not necessarily illegal or something like that but it's distraction it's a distraction and it keeps you away sometimes it's merely just doubt doubting yourself sometimes it's an affair sometimes it's drugs sometimes it's 
Oh, it just can be any number one, a number of things now, like internet fascination, you know. Um, but anyway, it's keeping you. It, it it's it's something that draws you off the path and says, "Come on, just just check it out. Just you know, just come and see. You know, you don't have to stay." And um, but you're you're going here, the three of wands. You know, you have new horizons. You wanna, you want to explore. You can see your path in front of you. You're ready to grow. You're ready to, you know, reach higher. You know, see how that middle branch is reaching higher. It's trying to grab the sun. It's and it's got to reach higher. Or it's going to get shaded by the other two, right? So and it's standing out. Too. It's about standing out. But anyway, he's looking at his new horizons. He's wanting to see. He can see the road before him. Now, um, he seems to be pausing, though, or waiting, right? And I wonder if that's this, you know, the doubt, the... You know, can I do this on my own? Before there, you know, I had support, but did you? Did you have support, right? Like maybe you did it, did do it on your own, and you were supporting everybody too. Like um, you got to think about how you, what your strengths are. Not just think about your weaknesses. Think about your strengths, what you have to offer, right? Um, Virgo can be very self-doubting. They can talk themselves right out of things, you know. And they're very passionate, very create. You are very passionate, very creative people. And, um, you know, once you put your mind to something, uh, you, you're probably quite meticulous and detailed, you know. So, um, and you got your sights on something, you know, you want new horizons, you got your sights on something. So then in your future, you have the high priestess and the high priestess is, she's about using, you know, using your instincts, right? To, to pay attention because there are things hidden from you it seems it doesn't have to be um bad you know there's some sort of mystery that you haven't figured out perhaps but she is also about using timing you know using those mercury retrogrades and the full moons to release or withhold um things plans words whatever and and use them at the right time you know um wait for the right timing it's all about divine timing you know um also you'll see she has a book in front of her and it has a single pentacle so this is about um you know it's not just about and it's what she has she, her her uh, alchemy book. It's her alchemy book of recipes, you know, like a cook would have, but she's kind of like the witch, you know. And, and so it's her recipes, her, not spells, but I would say prayers. Prayers. Um, um, asking, begging, praying for, you know, whatever planets are you know around at the time and asking them to work for you help you with what you're trying to create okay so you know it's a full moon tomorrow night and so this could be the very the very timing that the high priestess is talking about to put out your intentions to to pray for something to um use the moon's energy to ask for what you want to and also to shed a skin of what you don't want anymore 
Then you got the lovers. And you know, look at this. <laughs> There's the lovers and the lovers. You know? Like these people are... Um, it's the same two people. You know, in the one, they're just sort of like laying around all high. Like they're just doing drugs together and we're just... Like, we just do drugs together, man. And now it's escalated into all this passion and, um, but based on, on this, you know, they're thinking that they have the, 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 what it takes to have something, you know, super duper, but it's based on trickery. It's based on an illusion, you know, um, maybe this is what you're trying to create, Virgo. You're trying to create love in your life. And, and you can. You absolutely can. You don't want it to be this. You know, you don't want it to be... This is almost shameful, you know, shameful action, shameful behavior. This is more pure, honest, it's out in the daylight. Um, I think it's something you definitely desire. Uh, it was it's what how you want to expand, you want to you know grow with someone. Um, but you're leery, you know, in some way. You have the Four of Swords next. And this is a pause. This is to kind of reconsider, rethink. Is this the right move? Um, fours are just having a re, uh, re-looking at everything to, you know, before you make take a big step, like, say, marriage. You know, a lot of people the week before are starting to get, you know, um, they not itchy feet, but, um, you know, the jitters because they're thinking, oh, my God, that's a big commitment. Am I doing the right thing? Is this crazy? Should I be doing this? And, you know, you're kind of backpedaling and you're, you you got to rethink it, you know. Um, so and what you're trying to rethink is this new horizon you know he he's sitting here on the top of the hill the the horizon is right there and you know this guy is really looking out wanting to grow you know on the road and this guy's paused he's unsure just like a virgo i don't know should i i don't know geez it's a big change should I? Am I doing the right thing? <laughs> um, it hasn't really indicated, you know, and it does suggest moving, though. It do does suggest moving, but let's see. Let's do a few cl clarifiers with the good tarot. <gasps> Love this deck. I was actually thinking of using it as the main one. For just for something different, you know, because I just love these cards. They're so beautiful. And they are inspirational almost, you know. They give inspiration. So what are the messages for Virgo? The Spring Equinox 2019. What are the messages for Virgo? What seeds should Virgo plant? To get this new growth, new growth, eh? New direction. <gasps> there, that one there for sure. Oh, another four. Another four. Huh. I'll show you this in just a sec. I'm going to just. What should. So the four of water. And the page of earth. So new opportunity. Like the page of earth talks about um, a source of income. Um, oh, 
What a cute little fella he is, too. I'm taking that one. Okay, so what do we got? King of Air. Okay, so these are so gorgeous. So there is the Four of Water. And it's a woman. She's underwater. It's a mermaid. And she's holding one ball. It's like a bubble or a pearl, giant pearl in her hand. And there's other pearls floating her around her, right? And, you know, it's kind of... Um, She's looking at this big pearl and she's thinking, you know, this is the pearl to have. This is the pearl I want. There's other pearls. They're all beautiful. Um, but she doesn't want any other pearls. She wants that one. She only has her eye on that one. She has all her emotions and wrapped up around that pearl. So this is ultra focused on this is like tunnel vision right on it okay and then the page of earth look at the little guy and he's got like a little um it's like a little bone um uh vest of armor look it's all bone beaded and bone anyway reminds me a little lord of the flies guy right so he has a message of an earth is about your stability your investment your um, security and you know he reminds me of the lookout you know he's the lookout and he's coming back there's he's seen something he's um, Hmm. You know, you could be, uh, have your eye on somebody, really, because with this lookout here, you know, and then the king of air, this is an air sign, doesn't have to be male or female, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. And this man, you know, like if you look at him, he's really all blue and green and purple. His eyes are shielded. See, he's got these glasses on, you know, he, and they're clear glasses. They're not rose colored glasses. He can see quite clearly, but he's quite, um, you know, all this feather uh um coat and and cloak he has on has so many layers um this guy is very deep i think a very deep thinker he considers he's very strategic too you know he really thinks things through um he can also see where something is going like he he wants to see where it's going before he's going to invest himself or move forward in it. And there's there could be, you know, the lookout is coming to tell the king about, you know, I th the king could have his eye. This guy or girl could have their eye on you. You're the pearl that they want. And the messenger's coming back to say, <coughs> excuse me. You know, and maybe the the this king of air is the the person in the lover, the other person in the lover's card. Maybe there's an air sign or someone who's um. There, um. They don't always reveal their plan either. You know, when you think of the king of air, think of a chess player. Very strategic. Um, they're looking, like I said, six moves ahead. What, what could, what are all the possible angles, all the possibilities that come out of this? You know, I want to know. And, and the scouts come back. Well, she's got her eye right on that. So...
that's what's going on. So I think this um, this person has their eye on you. They have someone watching you or they're watching you. Or you have your eye on them. Hmm. Um, like, and this is single-minded. This is like, <laughs> that's the only the one I want. Very deeply, um, a lot of emotion. A lot of emotion. They can't see anybody else but you. Where I go? This person. But um, someone's, I think someone's coming back to tell them something about you. This message is going out. What are the messages for Virgo? Ha! Going out. Eight of Wands. So, yeah, this is a message going out. This could be travel. Uh, this could be actually moving. You know, this is um, this is the bow, or this is the the arrow that that's been released. You know, and um, and now you got to see what's going to happen when they land. They're all being released at 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 loosed. That's the word, loosed at once. And um, so this is action. This is action in your plans. This is um, in your achievements too. Some something with your achievements are going forward. Um, yeah, you're really moving forward in your achievements. Anyway, um, like I said, I think this King of Air could be watching you. He's, he only wants you. He's just got his eye on you. You're the best, the bestest pearl there is. What else is there for Virgo? Mm, Queen of Pentacles, there you are, Virgo. You know, oh, I'm going to take that one too. Wow, really nice. So you're ready to move. You're ready to move. You want to move on. You want to, you want to see... What else is out there? What else can I achieve? Jeez, I've gotten here to the 8. Surely, I, maybe I can make it to the 10. I'm going to see. You know, she believes in herself. She's very grounded. She's sturdy. Um, also, to me, she the peacock, to me, is about communication, right? And networking. This woman really knows how to network. Also, she keeps a lot of things to herself and she lets them out when she feels um, to the right person at the right time, you know. She has, a, she knows a lot. Every one of those feathers, every one of those eyes and those feathers are, is something else that she knows, hidden knowledge that she has. Anyway, she's very grounded and she moves slowly towards her goals, but Right now, the, 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 all these arrows are loosed. All these wands are loosed. And so when they land, things are really going to move forward. <clears throat> and the wheel of fortune change. Change is a coming. This, and this, talk about, I said divine timing, didn't I? Right there with the high priestess. And that's it. Divine timing. This is exactly the way what was supposed to happen when it's supposed to happen. You are ready for this change. These, This eight of wands is a change card. So you are bookended by change. But you're ready. You're ready. You can handle it all by yourself. You're very strong. Very strong right now and capable. Um, you don't doubt yourself. You value yourself. See her holding that pentacle? Oops, see her holding that pentacle? You value yourself. So, male or female, whichever you, uh, one you fall in. But, anyway, that, you know, <laughs> this is such a good reading for pat on the back. You know, good for you. Good for you. This is saying that this is your karma you're getting back. This is saying, you know, good on you, man. 
Look at all this great stuff you've done. Well, it's, it's, and, and getting the recognition, you know, good on you, man. Like, uh, you've really done it. You have earned this yourself. You've pulled it off. So anyway, congratulations, Virgo. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I want to thank you for all the um, the likes and shares that you've already given, the comments. I love the comments. And um, if you'd like a personal reading, I'm available. It's $50. You can email me at tinkertarotreadings at gmail.com or just, you know, look down in the description box and all the details are there. If you could follow those instructions, it would be super duper helpful. Also, if you want to donate, uh, you can um, do that at paypal.me slash tinkertarot. Really appreciate that and um, all of your help and support. Thanks, guys. Bye.